Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Bugs, and today's video guys is explaining the reasoning why Rumbleverse has been delayed, at least by Iron Galaxy reasoning why it's been delayed. And before we get into this video guys, don't forget the subscribe button guys. If y'all do enjoy Rumbleverse's news, content, and if they have it in the future, competitive play, then this is the channel for you. And let's get straight into the video guys. Now, the speculations on the reasoning why Rumbleverse was delayed from a lot of people, just from, you know, quick research and, you know, just seeing people comments and tweets and stuff, is that they were afraid. They were afraid to release their game around the time with all those other games like Lost Ark, um, Elder Scroll, Elder Scroll, Elden Ring. I believe it was called and many many other games you know that was there that's what people have speculated but i went through some researching and i actually saw that rumbleverse like iron galaxy actually was on a podcast now unfortunately i wasn't able to refine that podcast because i watched it like a while back i want to say two weeks ago but i do know it was on apple music so if you want to go look up you know rumbleverse maybe you could find it but pretty much they had you know they were on a broadcast explaining the reason why they had delayed the game and in all reality all they said was content they felt like there wasn't enough content into the game to release it yet and they didn't want people to have a dull game and be waiting for a long time i guess for new content now i'm not a game developer you know all of us are not game developers but we are consumers and we know what we want 100 percent, i feel like they definitely should delay it probably a little bit to get the content they want but this delay has gone quite some time now so now i'm expecting more than what i expect before and on top of that i don't even know what to expect anymore if you know what i mean like for example this game was this game was announced what back in december 9th i believe at the games awards you know mad excited the next day they said hey guess what we're gonna do an early play test for y'all so y'all could play and enjoy and it was only for eight hours very weird timing to let people play your game but you know everyone got to play it pretty much towards the ending because they just allowed everybody but then again it's it's a limited time frame so like not everyone really got to play it or didn't even know that it was limited you know but if people that did got to play it we could all say the game was pretty solid you know like at the beginning obviously you didn't understand what was going on but once you actually understand the, the buttons and what beat what the game was pretty awesome yeah it had minor little bugs but nothing game breaking was like oh my god what the hell you know i just felt like the bugs were funny you know i could show you a clip right now where a bug happened to me and i was confused um i don't think that's supposed to happen guys <laughs> the fuck you see like i don't know right so they go they go dark i believe right but i'm pretty sure we knew um um for another the release date the release date was february 15th i, I want to say and then the early access to the to the release date was february 8th right since december 10th when they did that play test they went ghost no word no nothing just complete silence so in my head and probably other people head it's like oh they're working on the game they're grinding out they're probably pushing out more stuff for us so when the game happens you know we get to enjoy it and stuff and play it better and all that stuff right so just complete silence you know i think it's like a week a week by the by to be time for um you know Rumbleverse to finally drop at least the early access versions you know for people could play the game i think it was a week early and all of a sudden they just tweet out yeah guys we've decided to delay the game and in my head i'm just like what what happened yeah yeah had two months what happened in those two months don't get me wrong i believe it was christmas and new year's and you know those timings you know you get your little let's say they got full full 14 days off probably not obviously but let's say they got 14 full days off within those two months that's like about 62 days but you know like i said they announced it a little bit earlier so maybe like 58 days let's say 58 days so minus another like two weeks, full two weeks. That is forty something days. Again, I don't know how game development works or how long it takes, but you had forty plus days to do what you got to do that you already announced to your community. Hey, this is the time we want to drop the game, and not even the game, early access, so we could get even more feedback before we release it to everybody publicly. What were y'all doing? I think that's the question that we all want to know. It's like, what were y'all doing? Like, like I said, the podcast explained that they just want to add more content, but like now in my head, like I said, I'm expecting way more and I don't even know what to expect right now. Like I'm expecting like game modes and new moves and stuff. And I don't even know 
what else to really expect because even after that right they allowed us to play the game for two hours on the 12 for their network because i guess they wanted to have a better network and roll back i got the i get the whole two hours but it's like that's a very hard job to get everybody to get on a game for specifically two hours don't get me wrong like yeah probably people probably took off or made time for it but not you know i guess the best stress test i really wanted to to have a limited of two hours in the middle of the day you know if you really wanted to test stress your game you probably should have did it around like 8 p.m 9 p.m that's when people are usually home or getting home or you know done with their day so now they're home to play it you know um but even after that now wait, what is it march 16th it's been another month and the only information we got is a tweet saying you know stay tuned for announcements but if you go back to the last day of the play test you know the two hour one it said the same thing you did an announcement of an announcement last time and then a month later you do the same thing it's like what's going on and don't get me wrong like i said we're not game developers we don't know how long it truly takes to you know make games and do this and do that but bro i think yeah we're better off releasing the game early access maybe delaying the full access for everybody and slowly letting people in you know throughout the day like how valorant did with their beta and keep fixing the game and see what needs to be added and all that stuff because you're low-key losing your fan base and, and i'm all honestly don't get me wrong i think i'm still gonna play the game 100 percent. you know i enjoy it but you have people that hold grudges where like waiting this long is like man forget about this game i found something better now oh man forget about this i'm gonna do something else you know they, they took too long type type stuff and i understand it you know it, it is crucial and annoying to wait especially when you were told a release date you know and I think that's why a lot of games try their best not to do that. For example, I think like Multiverse is one of them. Right now, they just said for the year because they don't have a solid date. And I think that's a smart thing to do. Yeah, it's annoying, but at least we don't have our hopes up, you know, taking that date away from us. And like I said, I'm, I'm expecting maybe a few weeks, you know, maybe a month. But it's just like, damn, at least keep us updated, you know. We want to know what, what are y'all doing? What are y'all adding, you know? I don't know. I feel like devs forget that work that that we know that they're humans and we don't expect them to do everything one two three and like give it to us type shit it's more like yo talk to us you know we're humans we know you're humans conversate with us let us know what y'all doing let us know that you're adding cool stuff artwork little changes in the maps people love to see stuff like that little small trailers but people love that type of stuff to keep them entertained and stuff yeah i know it might be a little time consuming because you know you should be working on the game that's why you hire people you hire a little two three people that's great with you know graphic arts and you know editing and all that stuff and let them do that but yeah guys that's pretty much the reason why um multiverse multiverse is not i gotta say because i said it from the last thing but um from rumbleverse rumbleverse has been delayed because they just want to add more content but now in my head is what is the content they're adding like for example the thing i think a cool game mode you know if if that's one of the things they're trying to do is the whole apex um arena thing you know how the arena they have a 3v3 and you face each other and stuff i think rumbleverse should have like a 3v3 over 4v4 game mode in a smaller part of the map and y'all fight, you know, with the loot boxes and get y'all books and fight each other. And then it's like first to 10 or first to 15 KOs. I think that'd be a solid game mode for the people that don't enjoy um, battle royales, but do want to give this game a try. I think that will have the two parties of, you know, oh, I enjoy um, battle royales, but I'm not a big fan of the whole team versus team thing. Oh, I'm not a fan of battle royales, but I'm a fan of team versus team, you know? So you get that, you get that both parties going and stuff because in reality, I don't know what else content they could be adding. If it's truly just cost students and cosmetics for content, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. <laughs> but that's it for the video, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Comment about anything. Comment any reasons why you truly think they delayed the game. Because for them to delay it off of just content has me speculating a lot. But yeah, also the first time ever watching my videos, don't forget to subscribe button, guys. And I'm out. Peace.